Hi everyone, this is Sal with Moon Valley Nursery and today we're going to talk about some of the home and garden disease and pests that are commonly asked for and treated here at the nursery when people are coming in with stuff they have going on at their house. We're going to talk thrips in this case. So thrips are a sucking insect, they'll kind of fly around and land on your plants and really what they're doing is they're sucking, if you will, the life out of your leaves and they'll start seeing the leaf curl over fold and it'll be discolored. It's pretty obvious when we see thrips on the plants, we see it pretty often coming in from homeowners. What we're looking for is ways to prevent it, ways to treat it, and ways to keep it from happening in the future. So let's, let's start with the identification. The telltale sign is the leaf's completely folded over, almost like a taco, and it looks completely deformed, distorted, wavy almost, and you see like little spots and dents in it. It's where it's been sucking and living off the plant. So we're looking for that first to identify it. Once we've identified that's what it is and what plant maybe that it's on, and we're gonna go into like what maybe is causing it. So sometimes we can tell from enough of the samples there, enough of the photos there of the tree, why the, the plant was kind of attacked in the first place. But what we can really do, kind of help you out with preventative maintenance in the future is really stick to a strong watering program into a fertilizing program. And if you haven't been doing that, it's usually the first thing we wanna make sure that happens in the future. But if you're doing that on a regular basis, it helps to prevent it. Healthy plants, healthy trees, usually are less susceptible to disease and pests. Once we've gone through that, we wanna kind of go ahead and treat the problem. So we're gonna go through and use a couple different pesticides on those. We like to use for most of our application a spinosad. It's a really good product for our house. It's, it's definitely one of the ones that's recommended for a sucking insect like that. You can spray that right on there with one of these hose end sprayers. They're really easy to follow with the instructions. The other thing we like to do is use our systemic drench. So what we're looking to do here is mix this into a bucket. We have a nice Moon Valley red bucket. You can pour this into, mix it with water and pour it around the tree line itself really let it soak into the soil. It'll treat so it sucks it up into the roots and the, when the plant gets harvested by that, that bug, that pest, that disease, it'll kill the, the bug and pest that way. So we like those two ways to kind of attack the pest, attack that disease, if you will. Once we've done that, we're gonna make sure that we have our watering correct. We're watering on a regular schedule the proper way, depending on the age and type of tree you have. And last but not least, we're gonna go back to a great watering and fertilizing regimen. The fertilizing regimen, depending on the tree and shrub you're doing, a lot of times is moon dust. It's an all-purpose fertilizer. You can use it trees, shrubs, vines, cactus, agaves, in a lot of cases, um, depending on what it is, we'll help you out with that. And then our moon juice. So this is gonna push new growth, get it big and healthy again. This is gonna help the roots recover and help the plant almost like taking up a vitamin. So again, we're gonna go through, make sure we're watering it right, fertilizing it right. We're gonna treat that pest and disease and make sure that we're looking for out for it in the future. We'll give you a little bit of advice too on the plant that it was on, maybe what times of year to look for that. Come into the local Moon Valley, call in, check us out online. We got some flyers, we got some handouts. We'd be glad to help you guys out. We're gonna take care of the problem, make sure you guys are happy. Thanks.